Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're continuing on with the 2018 uh, AP Calculus free response questions. So let's take a look at this. Consider the differential equation this. On the axis, sketch a slope field for the given differential equation at the nine points indicated. So I, I basically uh, plug in the x and y values into here, and I get the slope. So let's do a sample one. At the point um, here, um, when x, like this point, is uh, x is negative 1 and y is 2. When x is negative 1 and y is 2, I do 2 minus 1 over negative 1 squared. That's 2 over 1, that's 2. So this is a slope of about 2. When I go down to here, y goes to 1. So that's 1 minus 1, that's 0. So this is going to have a slope of 0. And at 0, y is going to be, it's going to be 0 minus 1 over 1. That's negative 1. So it's going to be like, oops. All right. Then I move to x is uh, positive one. Now you see the uh, x doesn't change. The, the, this is just going to change from negative one to positive one. So all the slopes are still going to be the same here, because um, negative one squared is the same as positive one squared. Now when x is equal to two, it gets a little more interesting. Um, when x is two and y is two, I'm going to have two minus one over two squared. So that's one fourth. So it's going to be kind of pretty flat there. Uh, here it's still zero because y minus one minus one is still zero here, and then here when I have um, y is zero, it's going to be negative one over four, so it's going to be like this. Okay. Actually, this one I don't know why I said this is two. This is supposed to be a slope of one, so this is just negative of that one. Okay. All right. That's about right. Um, so that's sketching the slope field. Find the particular solution to the differential equation with the initial condition f of 2 equals 0. So the only way to do solving differential equations here is I um, do separation of variables. That's the only technique you know um, in AP Calculus AB. Um, so the dx comes over here and all the y's go over here. So I'm going to have dy over y minus 1. I divide by y minus 1 is equal to 1 over x squared dx. Okay, it's important that the dx's and dy's are in the numerator, so I can't like swap it like this way or anything like that. Like I can't bring the dy down here and the x squared up there. That wouldn't make sense. So I'm going to integrate this. Integral of this is natural log absolute value of y minus 1 is equal to the integral of this is negative 1 over x, because this is x to the negative 2, so I can do that, plus c. Now, um... Let's go ahead and I guess uh, plug in our initial condition. Well, no, let's let's solve. Um, um, well, when y is let, let, yeah, I, I want to get try to get rid of the absolute value because this is kind of tedious. Uh, I'm going to plug in the initial condition. So when f of two equals zero, uh, when I plug in x equals two. I have ln of absolute value of 0 minus 1 is equal to negative 1 over 2 plus c. Okay, This is the natural log of 1. That's 0. Because 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Absolute value is 1. So it's negative 1 half plus c. So that tells me c is equal to um, positive 1 half. Right? So then um, I have ln absolute value of y minus 1 is equal to negative 1 over x plus 1 half. Now, I guess I can just do the e to the both sides and just do the absolute value of y minus 1 is equal to e to the negative 1 over x plus 1 half. Sometimes we write that as e to the negative 1 over x e to the 1 half. And so not forget my absolute values. And this is always a positive value. So um, I don't know. You can't really remove the absolute value signs because I don't know if y is bigger than 1 or smaller than 1. You know, like because y starts at 0, um, I'm saying that this whole term is negative. So to get rid of the absolute values, I have to write it like this. Yeah, I think this will, this will work. And I'm just going to put this e to the 1 hat, 1 over x. So then y would equal 1 minus 
e to the 1 half e to the negative 1 over x. Okay, so this would be my particular solution here. And this would work. But the particular solution described in part b, find the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 minus e to the 1 half e to the minus 1 over x. As this gets really big, 1 over x becomes 0. e to the 0 is 1. Um, so this just becomes 1 minus e to the 1 half. Okay. All right, let's take a look. This picture looks pretty good. This. And this is correct. Uh, e to the 1 half is root e, right? So, okay. Um, pretty straightforward. Hope you guys found that helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.